Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero. Welcome back to another 2v2 Pro match. However, this is from 2006, so if my math serves me correctly, 17 years old, this replay. And we're still on the same version of Zero, 1.04. Would you ever believe? Down at the bottom right, we have the purple player with the GLA Tox. This is Orianga. I believe that's how you pronounce it, or at least how it's uh, spelt here. Over on the left-hand side, we have the yellow Tox, which is Russia Sir. Or what's his full name meant to be? Hmm. It's probably completely cut off from the game. I'll probably never know. Up in the top left, we have the orange... Was he Air Force? The uh, HCG Denver player. And over on the top right with the China Nuke with the green. This is AN Showtime. So, yeah. Gonna guess that back in 2006, these were probably some quite decent players um i am seeing from orianga like some slow workers building and stuff like that he's attempted like some kind of half-hearted box here getting some tunnels in the right places looks like kind of a decent build order we've got yellow player going for a more forward war factory nowadays you see it more with the supply and a couple of tnt is actually heading forward for for HCG Denver. One thing that there wouldn't have been in 2006, you wouldn't have had Gentle. I think players used Aston. I think that's right. Aston, I think that was the name of it. To, to use it as like anti-cheat. This guy's not got veterancy on his technical. He is preparing a TNT though, and he's got some RPGs out to try and stop these Battle Masters from coming in. First one does fall. That achieving very much second one taking some damage but this half-hearted box mm, no it's not working actually so he's off to a very very bad start actually the purple player toxin tunnel here stops a flamer and the yellow player at the moment not even sure he's made any units from his wolf factory first unit is out now two minutes 19 pretty sure that's quite late we've got two ambulances out for denver Which is a little bit weird. And he's actually blocking. Is, oh no, is he? No, he's not blocking the tox. Sometimes that does block the tox. Very, very weird strategy there. From 2006, Mr. Denver. We did cast a replay just recently. And the game was from like 13 years ago or something. And the guy actually popped up in the comments saying, hey, hey this was me. So some people are still watching these videos after all that time. You would have thought they would have gone, but actually they're still around. So uh, I suppose it's even more crazy that people like Big Size have just played it since the start of the game coming out and still playing now and still, uh, and still doing so well as well. Okay, aggressive tunnel here for... Russia, sir. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Russia, Serbia, or Serbian, or something like that. I guess Russia is its clan. Tech RPG from the yellow player, which is, yes, Russia, sir. And he has killed one of the doses there of green. I think yellow is looking the strongest of the players so far. Orange looking kind of okay as well. Just confused by the double ambulance and double hellfire opener. Not moving his Chinooks, but the uh, the quads there managed to take out one of the Chinooks. This tech RPG still causing some mayhem. No mines here. Kill a battle master there with the RPGs. Search and destroy, Search and destroy now deployed. And Purple now tunneling his mate over on the left hand side. Purple hasn't really gotten rolling because of that first battle master in his supply line. He's also only collecting on three Chinooks, so he's... Sorry, on three workers. Would be amazing if he was on Chinooks, says GLA, but he's on, only on three workers. But yeah, this tunnel position is really causing problems here for the Orange USA. Let's see. Yeah, he has laser, actually, not Air Force. With Search and Destroy, though, you could probably park there and maybe kill some of these uh, quads. We've got a massive Marauder tank army from... Orianga over on the right hand side with a load of RPGs. It's quite an anti overlord army. Battle Masters do suicide though, kill so many RPGs.
And these Marauders, yeah, are actually having quite good success, as I thought, against the uh, the Overlords. Overlord is going to escape, though, wherever the prop is. It's actually gone down because it was there before, but he should have got subliminal messaging. These Marauders now can get some scrap, get a larger weapon, and eventually get two cannons. A drone over here just scouting. Eventually, all the Marauders are getting cleared up with the help of the ECM. Battlemaster coming in from behind. And the Overlord. That position has now been cleared. This tunnel here by Orange. And he's going to rebuild this supply there as well. And he's actually pushing out. He's got an Avenger and a laser tank mixed in here. None of those players currently have that supply. But these Vs coming all the way over to the right hand side to try and help out against Purple. Purple is sending a technical over to the left there, and yellow also has a technical inside of this base. There's a TNT, and he gets one of the doses. Doesn't get the war factory as well, though, sadly. He's uh, beaconed it. Purple now coming in. Could hit that uh, laser turret that's being built. It does go down. Visa continues to roam around. Another dozer gets hunted. And then if a TNT is going to hit the strap. So yeah, the, the top team have kind of won the right hand side. and probably going to push and cause some damage inside of Purple's base now. But Yellow is wrecking the orange base. Contaminate function used in front of the barracks. A little bit unorthodox to see that. We've got Jean Mikel just chilling here. So you don't really need that contaminate because Jean Mikel can just be on guard. He can snipe anything that comes out anyway. But we've got a base trade situation. The V's running around wrecking everything as usual in Zero. Hour. And these battle masters putting pressure on the front. So green is Dozer Hunted as well. Um, but he's still on his two war factories, although they are pretty low HP. So purple base is getting heavily, heavily wrecked. Bit of a palace. But there are buggies out. However, the bees are closing these buggies down already. The buggies do fall. So Purple need, definitely needs more workers here. He's pulled one of his three off. He needs a line of tunnels here to protect his mate as long as possible. Probably, yeah, probably the only thing he needs to be building now is tunnels. He does have 5.5k, so it's not like he can't afford it. He seems like the weaker of the players here. Orianga. But at this rate, he's going to get kicked. He's not spending his cash. He didn't deploy a line of tunnels there. And he's just beaconing. <laughs> well, instead of beaconing, you could try spending some of your cash. But Orange is just running around with his Vs that are now Vet 3 and Vet 2. So Denver has actually quit. That was the laser player. So now Green is going to take control of everything, which is Showtime. Got beacons absolutely everywhere. Purple running around killing some trucks. You've got to remember every bit of damage now that's done to these buildings. Uh cannot be undone, cannot be repaired, because the, the green player is without any doses, either of USA or Nuke now. These Vs still roaming around wrecking things, but I think the time on the Vs is probably limited because the buggies are chipping away. One of them does fall, and one of them is super low. Purple's rebuilding up in the top left. 
And he's still running around with a technical, but he's going to run into some battle masters if he goes any further. This V is extremely low. I think he's uh, took some damage from another buggy. There it is. So yeah, green isn't left very much. He's still spamming the battle masters, though, I suppose. And I. Uh, Actually, yellow and purple don't have very much either. So all players don't really have very much. And orange is obviously out. HCG Denver. And the War Factory now of our yellow player, Russia Sir, is also going down. But he's moving out across the map with an angry mob. Not sure how well they will do against the Battle Masters, but we will see. When a Battle Master explodes, it will kill a lot of that angry mob, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if they don't all get run over first, but it could hit the War Factory here. They are getting dangerous and close. Probably would be more beneficial there just to actually kill the War Factory straight away and just ignore the Battle Master. Because it could have finished that War Factory there, which could be the difference between winning or losing the game. And speaking of winning or losing the game, it is becoming insanely close. But purple is rebuilding, albeit quite slowly, up in the top left. Again, he could do with some more workers. Especially if you're going to build it wonky like that. I probably would get like eight. Going to do a weird supply like that. Purple now coming through his vet three technical. Trying to take out what MDs he can. This palace is being repaired. Palace goes down. And all the RPGs now be able to be cleared by the Battle Masters. Okay, Battle Masters continue to clear up the yellow base. Angry Mob is on the way, as is a TNT. Angry Mob does have the AK-47s, and they are wrecking the Battle Masters now. So yeah, the left the left side team, even though they started on the south, <laughs> but now they're on the left. Uh, the left team should win now. They can just drop down Stingers and Tunnels, and they should just be out able to out camp. They should be getting the bounty money. They don't have the most money in the world, but I mean, Green doesn't have the most money in the world either. He needs to probably leave his base, maybe just leave one or two Battle Masters in your base with some mines, but he needs to move out with all of this. Although one of them did get sniped there. Purple coming through with a TNT. Battle Master is on the move, though. Battle Master now going to get in the supply line of the purple player. All of his workers have to be pulled. Russia Sir uh, is beaconing the supply as if to indicate that's his only source of income now. And a TNT on one of the war factories and it's going to get through and kills it. So there's only three weakened buildings left for green now. Green can clear this. That will leave the left team... Just with this little patch, really. You might be able to clear that bit as well. <laughs> it's kind of funny, his own ambulance. He's clearing the toxin, clearing the nuke. Yeah, purple. Hmm. Seems quite low level. He's got. He's made loads of technicals throughout this game, but didn't get the technical veterancy. I know he invested in Marauders, but now he's level 3. Is he even getting the bounty money is a question. As he placed down the scaffold. He was like, he was floating a load of cash before when he should have dropped down the tunnels and stuff like that. He's coming in with quite a nice TNT and Green's going to walk into it there as well. Loses a load of stuff. Two Battle Masters, Outpost, the Tank Hunters inside of it as well. But Green, with this army of Battle Masters now, might be able to just close out the game. He is going to be stuck against the palace. I think he might be able to see where we're heading with this replay. <laughs> Whenever there's a palace left as the last building and the other player doesn't have very much, we are probably going to have a sticky situation on our hands.
Okay, Palace has got a few RPGs inside of there. It's going to get one more in a second. These uh, Battlemasters are getting healed by the ambulance, which is obviously good. And because there's five of them, he's getting the Horde bonus there as well. This Wolf actually going down gives him a vet too. He's obviously very good as well. And Oriango has been defeated. So we are left now with green against yellow. Green losing Battlemasters, though, to this Palace. Uh, yellow's rebuilding kind of all over the place. So green does need to make sure he's on top of that. The last thing you want is the GLA to establish loads of a tunnel, loads of tunnels somewhere in Stingers. And you not be able to push in at all. Looks like this supply is going to get stopped. This supply is getting found here as well. Kind of interesting how he's just gone straight over here down to the bottom right. You got to think back in the day if they were on voice chat. This was before like observer collusion or telling your mates what's going on under the fog was a thing. Um... Not, not sure how many players map hacked and stuff. Just a bit weird how uh, Battlemaster's just gone straight over there when he's built a supply. Very, very strange. Yeah, maybe he's just on it. He is checking this bottom left one as well. But yeah, you, you never know. It could, could be a thing. Not saying the players are doing it, but his mate who's quit could be telling him. Could be telling him um, what is going on under the fog. Okay, tunnel getting cleared here. This is uh, showtime with his battlemaster. Could stop this worker. Red guards against the palace seem to be having some quite good success. But the RPGs inside of the palace are eventually winning. But the palace is getting weakened. Uh, showtime, yeah. As long as he's still collected. A few flamers. Maybe three flamers. Close that down at the same time. I'm pretty sure that will be going down. Especially with the help of the ambulance healing the flamers. Um, wait a second. Yeah, he could see that. I'm trying to see what he could and couldn't see to see if it was a dodgy move or not. But yeah, he found this. I think he's got a lot of vision because of that Chinook. Yeah, that Chinook provides such a huge vision. Look at that. All the way up to there. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, green's still collecting and yellow trying to hold out at his palace. But he doesn't have a worker by the palace to repair it. So pretty sure that green will be able to close that down and win. This worker's still running around. Can be seen by green there. I bet that Chinook is there. Um, he doesn't have the isotope uh, upgrade. But there's still 21k there. There is a Jarman out there. But I think that that Jarman needs to get over to the palace because... Where's Green going, man? What are you doing? What are you doing, Green? General, All he needs to do is put attack. that troop crawler near there and click the red guards on it and, and the palace will be dead. Uh, I know he's kind of panicking and going back, but there's no point in sending that troop crawler back. Hmm. Yeah, green's going to lose his war factory here, so then that 21k there doesn't matter. Green making a huge error here, bringing that troop crawler as well. He's just panicking. He thinks he's going to lose the game. And he's lost his key building. It's obviously very important. That's why you need to leave a few battle masters around. I think he left one and he got sniped. Oh, he has found the Jarman as well. But the ambulance taking heavy damage is that ambulance gonna die no still alive 
Okay, so that barracks needs to be the next target. But green should win here. That palace can be closed down by a troop crawler. But how many guys are left in there, I wonder? We'll check in a second. Okay, barracks cleared. So we're just left with the palace. Uh, but we will check. Well, yeah, there's enough red guards inside of there. So he can just send the red guard to the palace. He's going to use one of his valuable red guards now to collect the truck that he doesn't need, okay? But he just needs to go over to the palace and win. I think this is this should be a clear win. The only way that a palace could hold is if there's a rebel inside of there. With, um, obviously a Tox rebel. But is he Tox? Was he Tox? I've actually forgotten now. <laughs> I think, yeah, he was, was he Tox? I think he was Tox. So, yeah, if there was a Tox rebel inside of there, or if he'd have put that Jarman in there from before, the Jarman could have also been weakened in this army. Um, and then that palace should be able to hold out. The only way... But this can end in a draw as if he sends all them battle masters with the troop crawler they explode and kill the red guards inside okay so the palace is under siege that battle master sending that to the front though not sure about that because you're going to kill the red guards here Oh, man. He's killing all... <laughs> okay. That was absolutely awful. From green. And I know this is this game, as of this replay, has only been out for three years or whatever, but some of the decision-making here is pretty bad. Like, taking a supply trick now when you know you've got no production, using one of your, one of your valuable units, which is a red guard for taking that out, is really, really important. He needs to get a battle drone on that, which he can't do, actually. Um, he is still collecting, though, so he can make enough trucks to force a draw because the RPGs will have to leave that. And then the... Oh, yeah, you can make a battle drone. Yeah, see, all you need is the ambulance full health now, and you should be able to uh, close all of them down. You could... Yeah, you could crush all of these now, or in a second. And then get a Hellfire drone or a battle drone and eventually might kill the palace as well. But yeah, that was some really bad play by Green. <laughs> Letting the battle masters explode and kill the red guard. It was kind of poor. So the RPGs from yellow are moving out, which I think is a mistake, because inside of the palace they were safe, but now they are not safe. But this green micro, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, that's some of the worst ambulance micro I might have seen in my life. Let's see if he can micro the trucks any better. Yeah, he can micro those supply trucks better. Can he hit this one? You've got to remember there could have been lag. I suppose it could have been a lot of lag. We're obviously watching this at like normal speed, but you don't know if it was like 64 ping or whatever. That could explain some of the lag. But that now is a 100% draw because I don't think we can see any other units out. There are no more attacking units. We've got a palace against a power and a supply. There is no more attacking units left. The supply trucks killed the last attacking units. So that is as far as i'm concerned as close to a draw as you can get because there's absolutely nothing that you can do there's not even a way <laughs> there's not even a way you can like kill that chinook and force it to land you know like force it to force it to die and cause full damage and that wouldn't even kill the palace anyway So yeah, there's no point watching the end of that now. I might as well just fast forward and see what happens. 
Uh, so the GLA quits. You are victorious. You could say Green had more buildings alive and he had more units and he had more control of the map because he's got supply trucks roaming around and stuff. But you can also say neither player can win there. So that would be a draw. So yeah, another really funky game. Obviously from 2006. Obviously players have got much better since then. You've got to remember as well, they were probably all playing on like 800 by 600 res resolution or maybe even less. And they probably all had the old control bar. Nowadays, we've got the transparent control bar. You have a lot more vision of the screen. We're playing in like 1080p or even like 1440p or 4K. So you can see a lot more of the screen. And strategies and tutorials and gameplay has all developed a lot since then. So that explains some of it. And you don't know about the lag as well. Like um, Micro in that ambulance was kind of bad. But the Red Guard and the Battlemasters exploding on them. I, I don't know. I suppose Green deserves to, <laughs> deserves to lose just because of that. So yeah, GG, well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Another really, really funky and unique one. Uh, but yeah, 100% stalemate, GG.